Hey, it's Aurelius. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a website in Canva. So whether you're creating a website for your personal brand or your business, this video is for you. And if you're looking for something really simple and easy to use, then Canva is the way. Let's get to the video. Okay, first things first, I know this may sound obvious, but if you don't have a Canva account yet, feel free to use my link in the description box below where you can get a free 30 day trial of Canva Pro. However, in order to make a website, you don't need a Canva Pro account, unless of course you want more options in terms of website templates. Okay, before you go ahead and create your website in Canva, I want to explain that Canva does have limitations in terms of creating a website on its platform. You're not going to get as much flexibility as you would if you were to create your website on somewhere like WordPress or let's say Webflow or Framer, one of those platforms. If you're looking to quickly put up your website and just want something out there to feature, let's say your products, your services, or your personal brand, maybe your portfolio, Canva is perfect for that. But I'll run through some of its features and what you can actually do and customize on your website. All right, let's get started. Once you're logged into your Canva account, you wanna to head to create a design. And what you wanna do from here is search for website. Then you'll see the website option, click on that. This will bring up a blank canvas that you can start with and on the left, you'll see design. This is where you can choose from a variety of website templates that Canva has uh, made. Otherwise you can very well start from scratch, but it's best and easiest to choose one of the templates. So feel free, look through all the templates. Bear in mind that many of them are for Canva Pro users only, indicated with the little crown and pro icon as you can see, but you will find some that are readily available for free members like this one here. So at this stage, feel free to browse through its library and you could very well uh, filter what kind of template or perhaps industry or niche uh, you're in. But let's say you wanna create a website to showcase your work such as a portfolio or it could be something to showcase your personal brand. You can go ahead, choose one that's relevant. Let's say this one here, I'm gonna click that once and you'll see here there are different pages and layouts uh, on this template, right? And what you wanna do is apply all six pages. That's only if you want to use all of the layouts. And what I suggest you do is go ahead, use all the layouts and templates that they provide because you can always delete what you do not want and repeat and duplicate what you do like to create different sections and pages on your website. This template that I selected specifically is for Canva Pro users only. Quite simple though, all you really need to do uh, with this template is customize it with your name, of course your image, replace it. So if you head to your uploads, upload your profile picture and then drag and drop it right there in replacement and just positioning it where you want. And then of course, we're gonna change our name. I'm not gonna complete the whole thing, but, but this is all just to give you an idea. Just like anything you design in Canva, it's all separated into different pages. And you'll see here, this is kind of one page. This is a second page and another and another. This is another example for a brokerage kind of business, I think. And uh, you'll see here, this is kind of the hero image. Then you've got this and then another area and features, and you've got different sections like this footer area where you've got business hours and social icons. This one's rather different where you've got a different layout. So feel free to play around with the different templates that they provide. Uh, if you don't like what this looks like, but you do like the one from this template, you can very well just copy this entire uh, section. What I would usually do is select all and then copy, head back to this new template. I'll add a new page. I do need to change the background perhaps, but if I do wanna stick to this green, I can just simply paste in uh, what I had from the previous template uh, to this. And now you can see it's kind of on brand, but of course with this layout here. But at this stage, feel free to customize your website with your details, of course. Also note that whatever the template provides, you're not fixed to simply using that. You can go ahead and let's say add a video if you'd like. This could be a video that walks through your product or it could be a video of yourself demonstrating what it is or and your work and the past work that you've done. So let's pretend this is a video you wanna add. You simply click that and then you can arrange it where you want. So let's say this is going to be right here. You can do so. Uh, I 
we'll simply delete what's existing here, put this as an image instead. This will allow website visitors to watch your video. Now let's talk about linking certain texts and perhaps icons to external websites or internal pages on your website. Going to something like your social icons, this would probably be one of the first things also you link uh, out to. Uh, you can simply make these links. Let's say you want to link to your Instagram account. Click it once, you'll get this more options icon, then click on link. And from here, you simply link to your Instagram account or social profiles. Repeat the same steps for the rest of the icons. You could also go into elements and search for an icon, a social media icon that isn't uh, laid out here. For instance, if you wanna link your YouTube, you can search for YouTube icon. And let's see if there's something that can match uh, something similar, right? So we'll select this one here. And all we need to do is resize it. And of course, what we can also do is change the color to match the rest like so. Of course, it's not size exactly the same, but you get the gist and simply repeat the same steps to link out to your actual YouTube channel. Same goes for text. If you wanna link, let's say this email address, highlight, and then click on the link option and then simply enter the URL that you want here. If you wanna link within your page, all you need to do is let's say you wanna link uh, hometown to your about page or something like that. Once again, highlight the word, click on link and then right here where it says pages in this document, you can link to it. You will see untitled and that's what we're going to fix up and it's actually going to be useful and helpful for your navigation without naming your pages you won't see the navigation i'll explain that later but for now uh, to make it more relevant so that we know what uh, each of the pages uh, are and what contents there are it's best if you click on the page go to the page that you're editing and then right here where you see add notes i'll just move this aside so click on notes and then you'll see here, add a page title. We're gonna call this hero since this is the top fold and they call it a hero or hero image or header image. Uh, that's what we're gonna call it. Now for this, uh, we can simply look here, page two. We're gonna name this, uh, let's say background instead. And let's move on to the third page. Uh, this is a showcase or of work. We'll just call this showcase. So name it whatever you want. So it's most relevant to you, but bear in mind that whatever you put here will be in the navigation. This page, we'll call it fun facts. And that's it for this demonstration. We'll just stick to those pages. So now for instance, uh, let's link to freeway. All right, just, it's not relevant, but we can just use that word in this demo. So click on link and then from here, you'll see the updated page naming. We've got hero, background, showcase, but let's say you wanna link freeway to your fun facts page, uh, right? So if we click that once, now you'll see it is uh, clickable. So if someone goes here, your website vis visitor clicks on this, it'll skip and take them to uh, the fu fun facts area. And something I forgot to mention is that with all of these Canva website templates, it's built in a way in this layout format where it's just one page, it's just one long page. It's not separated into separate pages, which is quite conventional with most uh, websites. So let's say you've got your features, you've got your pricing and plans, and you've got the about and perhaps other pages too. Usually if you visit those pages, if you click on any of those links, it'll take you to a separate page. But with Canva uh, website, this works in the fashion, in this kind of fashion where it's just one page and it's simply uh, linkable in that way where you see where I click on freeway, it will take uh, the visitor to that specific area or that section. Now, let me show you how to publish your website and grab the URL to it so that you can start sharing your website. First things first, head to the top right. You'll see publish website. Click that once. It'll tell you that they've locked the design so no further changes can be made while you're publishing. All right, so right here, the first thing you wanna do is to make sure you check the resize on mobile, just to make sure your website is mobile optimized. And also whether you wanna include the navigation bar at the top or not, it's completely up to you. But if you wanna make it a bit more of a better user experience, 
feel free to use the navigation. So there's only two options with or without. Down the bottom, you've got publish to free domain. So you can publish to a Canva domain. If you're concerned about the branding of the domain, instead of using one of Canva's, you can very well uh, use your own domain. So www, let's say arealistigen.com, which is mine. Otherwise you can purchase it through Canva. I think they do charge a little more than somewhere like GoDaddy and Namecheap. So you can use your existing, but there's a bit more technical uh, things that you need to do in the back end, like changing the C name and things like that, just to propagate uh, with your DNS settings, All right? So we'll just choose free domain. Let's say you're just getting started, you're a beginner, you're not too concerned that uh, you're using a branded uh, domain name or not. Uh, but we'll select that, click on continue. And then from here, you can select a subdomain. Okay, so from here, you can select, let's say, uh, one of the existing ones I've actually got created. Um, we can select this one here. Okay, now I'll click on continue because uh, from here, uh, what you can do is name the actual page. And this could be uh, your home page. Let's just choose home and then describe the page. Okay, and this will help with uh, the SEO settings and things like that. As shown here, the page description appears below the page title and URL in search results. So this is one of the, its drawbacks with Canva websites. You don't get much flexibility in terms of SEO. So if you're thinking of uh, attracting natural organic uh, traffic from Google, Yahoo, wherever, whatever search engine, then it may not be the best option, but you know, already past that. If you're thinking about creating a quick and fast website, you know, Canva websites, way to go. A few advanced options here in the drop down. you've got password protection, uh, whether you wanna enable it or disable it. So only those with the password can access your website. Search engine visibility, whether you want them to follow it or not and show it in actual search results. So if you do want that, make sure you check it. Link preview is enabled. So you can choose how your link will appear when shared on social uh, platforms. So you can see right here, this is a preview. And once you're ready to go, click on publish. And then now you'll see the website is live. This is the URL. However, you can change this. I'll show you how, but let's copy this. We're gonna open it in a new tab. And here we go. We've got our website all good to go with our navigation bar, as you can see, based on the titles that we use. And this is one of the things you need to note. Uh, if you do not change the, uh, the notes right here, and where the title is, it won't appear in the navigation bar. So if you do want to make sure you include a specific section of your page, ensure that that page is included and you edit the title right here. Let's give the link a little test. So if I click this once, it should take me to, yep, the fun facts section. If you go back to your website in Canva, you want to make sure you edit the design and click that because it's non-editable at the moment since uh, we're in publishing mode. So if you want to get back to editing mode, click on edit design and then we're back here. Now going back to publishing your website and the subdomain that you end up using, if you go back to publish website, uh, you should be given the option, especially if it's your first time making it. If you click on free domain, it'll give you an option to uh, create your own subdomain. So in this case, I've selected p and s inc. Uh, my .canva .site. So that's, you, you have to kind of stick to that, um, but you're able to change the subdomain, which is this right here, right? And you know, once you've created that subdomain, you can create uh, multiple pages. And that's what we're gonna talk about next. Let's say you wanna separate the pages. I found a little hack to it. I'm not sure if it's the right way, but this is the way that I've found uh, to work. So let's say you want a separate page not within the same website to something like your about us page or it could be your products and services you can make a dedicated page like you see right here all right so if we go back to our template i'll just use uh, this uh, template for now uh, since i played around with this and let's say you do want a separate about page you can uh, create a separate uh, design so in that case uh, what you're going to have to do is create a new template in Canva. By going back to your Canva account, search for website, 
and then we're gonna create a new canvas. But this time, all we are going to do is add one single page and that is our about page. So what you can do is take maybe one of the existing uh, sections of your website, let's say this one here, which I've already done, copy and paste the entire design, which is what you see here. As you can see, there's only one page, I'm scrolling up, but there's nothing else. But this time, once you click on publish website, you can publish to, all right, so I've already done it, but we'll select free domain. And then from here, choose the same subdomain as your main website, which is this for me. And it's called PND Inc. And that's the one that, uh, that I've created as a demo and then click on continue. But this time, name it whatever that specific page is. In this case, it's about. So it'll be pndsinc.my.canva.site forward slash about. And then give this page a description. So this will be the about, you know, about us. Of course, you'd be more descriptive for SEO purposes. And you're given the same advanced settings right here. And what you can do now is publish. Now that it's published, you can head back to your main website and let's say um, we want to put uh, learn more about us. All right, so let's say you want to link learn more to your about page. All you need to do is click that, all right, highlight what you want, click on link and right here where it says enter a link, all you need to do is head back to your page that you want, uh, that you've created. I'll click on copy. And then I'll paste it right here. As you can see, that's the about page that we just created. I'll click on done and that's it. So now we've got a separate page for the about. Also, one thing to note with Canva websites, any changes that you make right here in the design isn't updated in real time. So what you're going to have to do is click on publish website again, go through the process, you know, continue and it will continue once again till we get to the stage where it says published. All right, now it's published and we'll go back and view the website scroll down where it says learn more. So you can see there it's updated. If we click that once, it'll take us to our page. Now, one thing and the drawback is that the because it's treated as a separate website, uh, you'll see that navigation only applies to whatever's on the page. If you go back to your main website, you'll see that it only shows the navigation links based on your titles, the ones that you actually filled out. A little kind of hack to this is to use one of the pages, uh, let's say this one here as the about. So what we can do is go to notes and call this about, I'll press enter. And then as usual, what you need to do is click on publish website again. And now give the preview a refresh and you'll see the about on the navigation. So if we click that once, it'll take us to the section. But if I do want to learn more, that's where the separate specific uh, dedicated page for the about uh, is now uh, shown. But that's how you can go about creating separate pages within your website. Apart from all that, it's quite straightforward as you saw in this tutorial. If you know how to use Canva, then you can very well make your own website. So go ahead and feel free to take your time to create your website in Canva and launch today. Thanks so much for watching. And as usual, if you found this video helpful, by all means, give this video a quick thumbs up. I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next.